Hello, this is Nat, Website Superhero from website-superhero.com, and today we're asking, which is the most valuable platform on which to build your website? We're going to discuss Shopify, WordPress, and Squarespace, see examples of websites built on those platforms, and touch on some pros and cons. We're keeping this short, so you'll find the full details in the blog post. So we're starting with Shopify, as you can see here. It is an amazing one-stop shop with no maintenance or coding skills required for reals. <laughs> Other perks include point of sale technology, as you can see here, I was in the, see here it says, this person uses Shopify to sell online and sell in person. So the point of sale technology lets you sell your products in person too with iPad and iPhone apps. It comes with free SSL, awesome templates that are easy and fast to build on. I myself have built Shopify websites from scratch in two days without much Shopify experience. So <laughs> that could be you. You also get ton, uh, tons of custom reports and ready-made reports on things like your highest selling products, which other products get added to the cart when a customer views product X, your top discounts by sales at a glance, tons of really awesome important stuff that you can use to guide your marketing and sell more, right? So the only thing you need to buy here is your domain in addition to the Shopify plan and they take a little bit of uh, commission from each sale. And you can start a 14 day free trial today with no credit card required on Shopify.com. Now the cons of Shopify because there are cons include that um, even though it has some awesome templates there are only 10 free ones and then there are 51 paid ones okay and let's start looking at some examples of websites so you can get something really varied this one is happiness abscisa they sell perfumes apparently and this one's pretty cool right so you need you know some photography some a few visual elements here and then that's pretty much it um, then you might be familiar with Poopery. They have hilarious commercials. This website is also built on Shopify. It's completely different, right? It's a little cluttered for my taste. But, you know, you get to have your products. And here um, you also have underneath here. Let me find it. Of course, your sets, but you can also subscribe and save and save with Shopify. So that's really cool. You have a fun opt in here, a lot of things. So, another con would be that it's programmed on Liquid, whereas, for example, um, WordPress is built on PHP. Now, the thing about Liquid is that it's not as common. So, you'll just have a little bit of a harder time finding someone to do a custom build for you or whatever you need. Um, and another con would be that um, they actually don't have a great way to prevent fraud orders. This has been, this has been my experience as I've been managed, managing six online stores on Shopify for the last, for more than a year. And it, that can be a headache. There are some ways to prevent them, but they're not perfect. So I've worked with Shopify for over a year, and I would say that if you sell physical products, I recommend Shopify for you 100%. Um, check out the risk-free trial. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments. Next, we are looking at WordPress. WordPress is pretty incredible. It is open source. It is free. It currently runs nearly 30% of the entire internet. Uh, it's been continuing to grow. It's fantastic. Ah, here it is right now. It says 29% of the web uses WordPress. Sweet. So with WordPress, you have full control over all your files. With Shopify, you don't. With Shopify, your website lives on Shopify. And if you want to move it to another platform, you have to start from scratch. On WordPress, you own the files. You can move them over to another platform if it's compatible, you know. Um, and you can be a finick, as finicky as you want in terms of design, but it's not as easy for you to get what you want to happen. You are way more likely to need to hire a developer 
or invest a lot of resources, you know, like time, either time or money or both to get what you want. Now let's look at a couple of examples here. Marie Forleo has her website on WordPress. This is a custom build. It's, you know, it's unique. You can do a lot of things here and that's pretty great. Now, keep in mind that while WordPress as a software itself is free, you'll need to purchase, of course, the domain, the hosting, a great template, any plugins that you want. With Shopify, you can have the free template or a paid template also, and they also have, instead of plugins, they have apps. Some are free, some are paid. And, you know, the what you're going to spend per year ends up being pretty much the same, um, but you will end up spending a lot more on WordPress if you hire out, of course. But that'll also happen on Squarespace or Shopify if you hire out. Although depending on what you want, it's possible you'll spend even more on WordPress just because it has so many possibilities. So it does go back to what you want to have happen. Now, if you want to sell physical products on WordPress, a downside is that you will have to set up taxes, shipping, the EU VAT, all that nightmarish stuff yourself. And, you know, it, it takes time to do and it's annoying. Shopify has that built in, which is really nice. Uh, let's look at another example of a website built on WordPress. Brene Brown's website. She's a writer. So if you're a service-based entrepreneur and you have the resources, I would recommend WordPress for you probably. It is the most powerful in terms of SEO as well, which means that you'll continue to get found more easily through Google. Finally, we're looking at Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is somewhere in between Shopify and WordPress. It was originally crafted for users to build content-based websites as opposed to online stores, but it lacks the powerful flexibility of WordPress. Now, pros include that it's got um, 84 free free, you know, once you pay for the Squarespace subscription, free and beautiful templates. It, just like Shopify, it includes security. You don't have to worry about maintenance, which is a big downside of WordPress. And um, it's easy and quick to get started. Shopify also makes it quick and easy to get started if you're building a simple site. Let's look at a couple of examples of websites built on uh, Squarespace. So this guy is an illustrator and he's showcasing his work. So I recommend Squarespace. If you're looking to display your work, say if you're somebody like this guy, graphic designer, illustrator, videographer, or if you have a restaurant, you just need a simple website for your menu, then Squarespace is the most convenient option for you to quickly set up an attractive website and showcase your creations. Now this website, Corp.bandsintown was also made with Squarespace. So you can see that you can have something more corporate looking here also. So if you have a service-based business or even a product-based business, because you are able to sell products on here, if you just want to get going really quick with as few resources as possible, then Squarespace is probably the option for you until you can upgrade to WordPress or Shopify. Squarespace also has a free trial on their website. Um, downsides include that it only integrates with MailChimp for your email marketing, which, you know, that's a huge bummer in my book. And, um, well, it has less SEO power than Shopify or WordPress. And also, if you want to sell on Squarespace, be aware they only integrate with PayPal and Stripe. So you can only sell your products to countries supported by these companies. Okay, for the full details, please go to the blog post and leave your questions in the comments. Thank you for watching.